Hey, you guys. So today I wanted to talk to you about forgiveness. And I want to know if you really trust God with your feelings, if you really trust God with your emotions, if you really trust him to keep you emotionally stable and healthy with your heart health. And I'm asking you this because like Matthew 6, um, 30, I mean, you, I, okay, several scriptures I'm coming from. Matthew 6, 30, Matthew 18, 18 through 35. Um, Matthew 6 14 through 15 this is this is all about forgiveness and how Christ wants us to extend that forgiveness to others so that he can reciprocate that forgiveness to us um, for example Matthew 6 14 through 15 it lets you know straight up like God says when you say that prayer you're saying Lord forgive me as I forgive others now, if you're asking God to forgive you as you forgive others, you have to really follow through with that. Because if you really have harbored something in your heart against your brother, and then you turn around and, and try and seek forgiveness from God, which we, we offend him on so many different levels, then our brother can ever offend us. Just to be real, just to be honest, just to be legit. Um how does that really work out for us if we are constantly in turmoil with our brother but yet we want to be at peace with God when one of his greatest commandments is to love your brother and your neighbor as yourself and so you don't want to be in turmoil with yourself so why would you want to continue in turmoil with your brother or sister like hatred I feel like hatred and pain and sickness all of that grief jealousy envy all of that that becomes an idol because and, and I can tell you why because sometimes we like to hold on to that pain we like to hold on to that unforgiveness and anything that you place above God is an idol in the moment that you decide in your mind that somebody is not worth your forgiveness you're placing that above God because God is all about forgiveness he is all about grace he is all about love and if you can't if you can't practice that, then how can you call yourself um, how can you call yourself a follower of Christ in a sense, you know? Like we all have troubles doing it. We all have issues doing it. Please believe me, I understand there's some people in my life that I need help forgiving as well. You know, because for me, I have a habit of um, thinking I've forgiven someone, but I've only like placed it to the side so I can't see it and so I go on about life like you know nothing really happened but at the end of the day if I haven't offered that up to the Lord then I haven't even making the made the correct steps in order to begin to forgive them in the first place that's all I'm saying um Matthew 18 23 35 is a legit re direct reflection of Matthew 6 14 15 the um the servant begged forgiveness from the Lord and the Lord was like all right cool I got you I forgive you I'm going to extend grace to you and then the servant turned around to another co-worker for lack of a better word because I'm summarizing right now but I'm giving you these scriptures so that you can go and read it yourself do not just depend upon my word that I'm giving you today um turns around to his co-worker and say well you owe me x amount of money and I'm finna send you to jail because you need to pay me and so every all the other co-workers is like but didn't the Lord just forgive you for the same thing that you're holding against your brother? And so the Lord found out about it and was like, you know what? Since you can't exercise the same grace that I ex I gave to you, then you have to, rep um, you know, you have to deal with the punishment. You have to deal with the consequences. And so the last thing we ever want to do is have to deal with consequences, consequences from disobeying God. And believe me, if you are harboring un unforgiveness, you are in direct disobedience of God. And that's not a fun place to be. Trust me, I understand. I know, I know. We all in this boat together. We all know it's hard to forgive. It's hard and it's difficult, but it is necessary. So I want to encourage you guys to um, do a heart check and a check and to make sure that you aren't harboring anything against anybody. And if you can't, 
you know, see it consciously. Ask God to reveal your heart. Ask him to say, God, if I'm harboring anything against somebody, please reveal it to me. Please remove it. Ask him for the help to do it because we can't do it on our own. Y'all have a blessed day. Love you.